right, hey, what's up? This is your boy Asiago back at you again on 3 a.m. Thoughts. Alrighty, so here we go. Alrighty, so today, uh, you know, it's not gonna be a long podcast. As, as a matter of fact, you know, it's gonna be a mini cast. You know what? And you guess what we're talking about today? It's no surprise or not, we ain't talking about facts. We ain't talking about theology. No, tonight we talking about Black Clover, man. Cause let me tell you. Oh yeah. So before I go any further, yes, this podcast will have spoilers for the show, possibly. I mean, come on now. I, I just literally finished the show. Hadn't read the manga. Uh, but still, yeah, like, it's gonna contain some spoilers, so, like, if, if you're not caught all the way up to 100, uh, episode 170 and the anime, yeah, please, you know, uh, your description is advised. I'm not sure if I'm using that term properly, but you get what I mean. There's gonna be spoilers ahead. Alrighty, so let's get into this. Alright. So, damn, like, <laughs> let me, like, where, where, where do I start? Like, this, sh- this, this show, man, like, it's... It, it, it was a joy ride, you know, from, from beginning to end. Because, like, literally, freaking... The show is just one of those shows that just never stops. It, like, literally, it, it, it just never stops, man. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> it's it, it's it's pretty damn cool, you know? Personally, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love My Hero, but I, I personally, I think this is, like, you know, the much better version of My Hero. Like, let, let, let me tell you, like, let me tell you what. You know, like, because both shows, they have very similar concepts, you know? In a world where everybody has powers, freaking, uh, you know, there, yeah, there comes this one guy who was who wasn't born with any, but he wants to be, but he wants to be the biggest hero around. So you know, so like one or one or two things happen, and they acquire a special power that that allows them, you know, to kind of uh, work side to side with the heroes that they love and the heroes that they adore, and you know, they and they become like the most uh, freaking. Uh, the most badass players in, in, in their game, you know, so freaking so what else? Uh, you know, what else do I have to say? You know, it's a very similar concept, but different things happen that differentiate the two shows more specifically The uh, like the overtones of the show so like in my hero like uh, my hero academia the full name and like and it's in the word academia You know, it's about these kids, you know, they're going to school learning how to use their power so they can professionally become Superheroes, you know, then you got in black clover, you know, it's a whole different thing So they're not going to school, you know, like literally there's a lot of po- there's a lot of political unrest that's going on You know, there's a lot of social unrest, you know, the freaking, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's pe- you know, there's like evildoers coming in You know, wanting to mess things up In fact, the further you go into the show, you know, you, you get, you know, leading up to the first war arc It's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of a Thanos Infinity War kind of story you got going on there Because, you know, you got the magic stuff Stones, you know, and you got, you know, this big, really powerful guy, you know, that, that wants to have not only his revenge on the humans, but he also wants to kind of, you know, change the world uh, for, you know, for his own better. And then you move on you know, to the next, yeah, to the next major arc. And then you have a bunch of uh, commoners who don't have a lot of magic, but are starting to re- starting a revolt, trying to work together. They're trying to take down this, uh, you know, this kingdom that's done them wrong for so long. You go even further. Then, yeah, then you got the freaking devil war arc, you know, but how they're, they're over here and they're you know they're just causing a bunch of mess they're causing a bunch of trouble and like in the over as you can see the overarching theme of black clover is that uh there's there's a lot of not, not even so much uh, it's not even so much a political thing it's more so just a power imbalance you know you got like because even because even when it comes to the devils and how like hell works for them freaking like even in even in hell you're discriminated you know freaking like the most powerful like, the most powerful devils uh you know they you know they freaking they, they, they just dog all over the uh, over the weaker devils you know and it goes on and so forth until we get to a devil that literally has no powers at all no magic at all and they know freaking and they're just at the bottom he's at the bottom the freaking food chain you know the same thing in the clover kingdom like it is this real big problem with uh you know with royals and freaking uh, nobles you know they either they have all this magic power you know they think they're all top you know all on top you know they're super powerful they think they're all that and they have so much pride and it just trickles down you know to where you know what if you're poor if you're you know if you're a commoner you have very little magic you're not yeah you know, you're not as powerful like you're almost pretty much nothing you know it's a whole big power imbalance here you know like the more power you have the more you know, the more popularity to have you know the more freaking yeah you know, the best the better your life is going to be you know, it's, gonna, it's a very big cast system and the overarching theme when it comes to the villains uh for the most part is that 
no they're yeah they're coming in and they're one and they're trying to change that you know they're like they're trying to forcefully change that you know either out of out of, uh, out of pure anger out of uh out of revenge out of out of, out of rage you know and then there's some bad guys that just want to see the freaking whole kingdom crumble it's because it's so messed up because the sins of humanity has led them to just be this ugly you know because oh, that's why the freaking devils are coming in now the devils can care less about what's going on in the kingdom itself but like uh like uh, hell they don't even care about what's going on they just want to come on earth and rain havoc but the people that are bringing the devils onto the world like those fools man like let me let me tell you what man like they like them guys man <laughs> them guys mom those guys like they like they 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 they're, they're just so fed up with humanity that you know they 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 see humanity just be so ugly you know to, to each other to to, uh, to others that you know just want to see them fall like they just want to just see them fall for the sake of seeing them fall you know so they just have this want to make this big old elaborate plan to bring yeah to bring the devils onto the onto the earth and just bring havoc and just end the human race you know and then you go up you go back to my hero a diff, completely different theme again similar concept you know when it comes to the character and it comes to the world but very different con very, but very different uh situation going on you know because Again, because you got oh yeah, so spoilers for my hero if, if you're not if you're not caught up uh, with the current uh, a- anime. But anyways, yeah, so here we go. And my hero, you know, you, they, again, you know these kids, you know, they're going to uh, you know they're going uh, to a special high school where they're learning how to how to use their powers, how to utilize them to become professional uh, heroes. And you know, and, and as they're learning all this, you know, you got these guys, you know, freaking coming in, you know, the League of Villains, you know, they want to they just want to start start crap. You know, and it gets even worse when when the number one professional hero, All Might, you know, he 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 pretty much takes a fall. He can't he can't be All Might anymore. And then you know, just have you just kind of have that, uh, you know, because the the world's number one superhero, he isn't there to kind of police the entire country. So so everybody's just trying to rise up, you know, and, try, and trying to be. You know, all the villains are just rising up everywhere, and they're just trying to like you know t- pretty much take a spot as number one, but not as a hero, as a villain. You know, and, and uh. And again, you know, and their motives, their motives, uh, you know, they, they tend to be more, uh, again, not, 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 just, not so much about society, although uh, it is kind of, it is kind of sort of about society, but it's more so just, you know, your typical, uh, villain antics, you know, like they, they, they you know, they just want power, you know, they, they, they just want to succeed in what they do and what they, what they want to do is just, you know, just, they, they just want, they just want to be evil, you know, and a lot of them aren't as two dimensional, but you know, I'm, I'm not trying to get too much into it because this is a black clover podcast. Now, why did I want to get into black clover was well, because I want, kind of want to talk about how the magic works. Cause damn, let me tell you, like, so here's the thing when it comes to like all kinds of animes, especially uh, shonen animes, uh, where you have all kinds of different powers. The one thing I love the most is when an anime introduces, uh, you know, this idea, a pow- like a concept of how the powers work, and it's different. Dep- and it's different, you know, for every uh, different person. You know, for example, you go to My Hero, all the quirks, the superpowers. Every- everyone's got a different quirk, and it's not just your typical, oh, I can breathe fire, oh, I can fly, you know, I got super strength. It's- it goes, it goes beyond that. You know, you got all kinds of weird powers going on. Like you got someone, literally, you can write the word pow and like literally it not only creates the noise but also it creates the effect he writes the word pow on a building and it, it can make a it can make a pe- chunk of that building you know fall off or freaking you got someone uh you, you know again yeah you got someone you know with freaking ear like earphone jacks you know coming out of their ears you know they can stick stick them to anywhere and they can cause sound bright vibrations or you got someone who can freaking uh who can freaking tear their body apart and send them off and send them off uh, you know in, in different areas you know you got someone who can talk to animals you got someone who, who gets stronger just by eating sugar you got someone who can brainwash people just by talking to them you know you got people that can freaking just like, like literally blow them up just by touching them you know there's all kinds of different weird uh powers going on and then another example you know you got some like jojo you got all kinds of stands going on you know some stands that can stop time some stands that can like uh that take on different physical forms like you know they're gas you can't really punch them all that well you know some some of them that the hint that you know that take over your dreams some some that freaking uh like only exist inside mirrors you know they're like it's super bizarre and then you go on to stuff like freaking akame got killed the freaking uh 
Yeah, the, the freaking Imperial Arms. You know, all the all kinds of different weapons from swords to guns to entire organic beings to a makeup box to devil's blood to freaking, like, you know, dragon hair to use as freaking special string. You know, you got all kinds of these different powers. And in Black Clover, it's no exception. You know, you got all kinds of magic power going on there. Like, freaking, you have, uh, you know, again, you, you have your typical freaking, you know, uh, fire magic, ice magic, water. You know, you got you you, you got you got the usual suspects, but you also have freaking special like special magics like chain magic, mirror magic, freaking uh like game magic. More sense in the board game, not a video game. Uh, but then like and you got uh the main character also. You know, he has anti magic. You know, like exactly what you would think it would be the ability to cancel out magic. You know, and there's all kinds of bizarre stuff going on. You know, everyone's got a different kind of power, and that intrigues me. And that really draws me into his show. And specifically for Black Clover, it's not just, it's not, it wasn't just that, but just the progression, the very fast progression of the main character himself, of how he just refuses to give up, he wants to keep on going on, and he, he acquires more abilities as he goes on, and the, and, and it's just one of, it's just one of those shows that just doesn't stop, you know, like once one thing is going on, it's one thing after another, you know, for a long while, and you're in for a long ride, it's literally one of those shows that's just meant to be binged, I mean, yeah, sure, sure, you know, it came out, you know, weekly, but damn, let me tell you what, it's it was definitely meant to be binged. Like, come, come, come on now, with some of the way these episodes end, like, you can't just watch them, you know, and then wait a whole another week, though, you know, to watch another one. Nah, like, damn, like, it, it, it's much better binged. But anyways, we're, ta- we're here to talk about the kind of magics there are. Like, so the magic, uh, it... it it's very very strange well i mean it's not very strange it's your, it's your typical uh freaking it's a typical way of using magic and uh, in other animes you know you got a grimoire and then you know from that grimoire you know it, it like it, it kind of it kind of syncs itself up with your own magical power and then you know you you kind of you kind of uh what's the word uh I, I forgot the word, but then like you know through through the you know through your own magic through your through your grimoire you can cast out uh, all kinds of all, all kinds of attack spells support spells all, all that kind of stuff and I don't know why but the entire time I'd be wa- I, I, you know I over here be watching this show man like I don't know like I can't I can't like compare like the way the spells work the way the grimoires work more like I can't I, I couldn't really compare them to anything else other than like computer programs because then because think think about it you know and you know you got your grimoire. You know, and then you got your own magical power. So you're, so you know, I mean, you can use your magical power. Like let's say you have, you have fire powers. You know, you can, you can kind of, you, you can try to cast out, you know, freaking flames, you know, out of your hands without, uh, without having to open up your, uh, your book. But I mean, but with your book though, you can cast more advanced stuff. You know, like you know, it's, it's got like, I don't know why, but like, every, every time I look at the way the magic works, I, I think of like, I, again, computer programming. Like, uh, like for example, you know, you want something to happen you know there's a special code to do something uh you know then you, you, you know uh, you have to type in that code you know and then with the, with the whole ma- the way the magic works in the grimoire you know you, you like if there's like a, like the book is full of codes you know it's full of codes but like things to say if they are way, ways to initiate a certain attack and i don't know like the entire time i just kept on thinking of, thinking of it that way and then uh, same thing, uh, th- uh, particularly with Asta's sword, you know, his anti-magic swords is when I re- really started thinking about this this way. Because, like, he has the power to nullify magic. Now, literally in the dub, they say nullify. And, like, you know, they didn't say cancel, they don't just say cancel out, they say nullify. And, I, and I, I only took one year of computer science, and I know, yeah, like, you know, when 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 you see dot null or whatever it's called, you know, null means nothing. You know, nothing happens. And... You know, and just just to say that you're nullifying magic just made me think, okay, so like literally, if we're talking to a sense of computer programs, you know, again, yeah, these guys are casting out their spells. You know, they're inter- yeah, they have the programs ready, and they're and they're uh, they're initiating those codes. But then you know, this guy comes over here, he puts a null on it, and then nothing happens. You know, I got this. It's a basic concept, you know, and I, I don't know why. It's just like I've always really thought of it that way. I, it's just kind of an interesting way to see it. You know, it's kind of like. Again, it's kind of like the whole thing is uh, is dealing with computers and just the way we deal with computers, the way we code them and stuff like that. It's kind of similar to the way uh, the magic world works in that world. Uh, damn, you know, it's, I don't know. I was kind of wanting to nerd, nerd about that, you know, for, uh, for, for a second or two. But uh, anyways, I, I, I didn't really have too much to say upon that. I just kind of wanted to get it off my mind. Uh, but thinking about it now, because uh, I'm thinking about... 
the way uh it's like some of the weird ways the magic works so okay so going all the way to like the ones the late 160s the uh all the way up to one, episode 170 uh so magic kind of works in the same way uh quirks do in my hero in the sense of uh, the way quirks work in my hero is that again you have a power and uh, usually that power is going to come from either one or both of your parents now i'm thinking if it works the same way as like genes do like with the uh, you know with the dominant genes and stuff like that you know so let's say like you know your father has the ability to you know uh breathe fire and then your yeah, and then your mother has the ability to like you know make things flow you know you, you know they come together and maybe you can make like floating fire or something like that or usually or, or maybe if like the fire is like the, the more dominant trait you know you're like you're just able like, you just pick up your dad's quirk you know you, you can you can cast out fire but you can't make things flow similarly you know at least looking at looking at black clover and seeing the way uh some of the powers work it, it's kind of it's more or less the same thing you know but ex except uh I mean, despite all the kinds of unique uh, magics people uh, possess, there's, uh, I don't really see too much uh, combo uh, style magics. Uh, like, you, like really, you know, you look at someone's magic and it really comes from one of their parents. It doesn't really come from both of them. Uh, however, though, in the case of uh, Asta's uh, mom, you know, because here's the thing. Asta was born without a single lick of power I in him. He's literally, like, he's like, in his case, he's literally the only person on his, uh, as far as he knows, he's the only person on his entire continent that was born without a single ounce of mana. While everybody else, even, even other commoners, have at least a tiny bit they can barely perform any spells but at least they got something he has absolutely nothing he is the only person in his case you know but it, uh, but then you know watching the show it turns out his mom actually had a freaking mad yeah she actually had mana she was able she had she had a power i mean it was a weird power but she had a power you know she had enough mana to where like it, it, she can take any uh, inanimate object or just anything that didn't have any magical power in it she can condense it put it in a container and then release it later again it, it kind of weird but i mean it, it's at least a power and but her son was born with no power at all and i'm over here theorizing like who the hell was his dad because as far as the anime goes it does not reveal who is like who was who his father was and i'm thinking how the hell in the world where everybody has magic do you end up producing someone who doesn't have any at all like it kind of seems illogical because like even even looking at it from a more scientific perspective like there's no way Right? You would you know, there, there is no way you would end up uh, you know creating like again if, if so many generations have passed where humans have possessed magical abilities there is no way like so far into the you know in, into this era that you can an actually end up producing some someone who doesn't have any power at all and considering that the mom has it like who who was the dad you know did the dad not have powers either or the way I'm thinking about it is that possibly again so his mom has that weird power maybe the dad's power. You know, whatever power that might have been, you know, it might have uh, it might have interfered with her magic when you know Asta was being you know con you know conceived in the womb. You know, possibly he was meant to have magic, but then like the two magic were, were like, they were either trying to combine or or whatever, or or maybe like the dominant trait of whatever power he was gonna get. You know, was trying to like. You know, it, it was trying to freaking make his way in, like into him, but it just wouldn't work because both, of, yeah, because both different monos are just kind of canceling each other out or something like that. You know, again, conceiving this kid who doesn't have any power at all. But you know, again, that doesn't stop him from you know from trying to be the Wizard King. Same way as for Deku, man. He ain't, there ain't nothing stopping him from becoming the number one hero. Like I don't know, this is this is a couple of things I wanted to touch upon. But yeah, like I said, this wasn't meant to be a full full on large. Uh, uh, extra large podcast or whatever nah it's just kind of something i just wanted to talk about real quick because uh as of right now i don't have very much i don't have too many people to talk uh talk talk about with the anime but you know that's soon to change you know i'll have more people to talk to and uh yeah you know i can kind of just let my theories out i mean seriously yeah dude, i mean this stuff is pretty damn cool man like i mean i i find it intriguing i find it pretty cool uh yeah, and actually, there was specifically something I wanted to talk about concerning the magic when I had this idea of making this podcast, but, like, I can't remember it for the death of me. I mean, really, because it was a few weeks ago whenever I came up with this idea, and I finally decided to do it now, but I don't remember why I originally wanted to talk about it, so maybe that might just come up randomly in another podcast or something. I'm not sure, uh, but thinking about it now... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, so here, okay, yeah, so I, I just remembered. Okay, so we're gonna talk for a couple more minutes. Uh, so, 
so the magic so later on uh going on to the show uh they eventually because so they, they uh so the the characters live on this one continent and this one continent there are four countries there's the clover king yeah there's the clover country there is the heart country the diamond country and the spade country as you can see you know there's kind of a little bit of a theme going on here freaking playing cards you know so anyways you know so the so the magic knights of the clover kingdom they go over to the heart kingdom you know to kind of, you know to meet the queen and they, and they want and they go over there to train and uh you know kind of build up their uh, their strength to fight the spade kingdom yeah, the, yeah, to fight the Spade Kingdom, who has a you know who's who has a, their leaders are possessed by uh, by powerful devils, and they're making they're slowly making their way you know to to the other kingdoms you know so they want to work together and try to stop them. Uh, so, and one and one of the things that they explained about uh, the magic is because the Heart Kingdom is very weird. You know, it's very rich and natural mana. You know, everything the, the the air, the water, the plants, the ground itself, everything has mana over there. You know, and the, and the naturally the people over there are just gonna be just super filled with it. And they're gonna be super powerful now here's the thing because uh you know these people are just surrounded by all this natural mana naturally the citizens over there in the heart kingdom they've de yeah, they have like more natural uh magical abilities like for example you know a lot more of them are going to have the power of water the, uh, the power of water the power of fire the power of lightning the power of uh you know ground and plants and stuff like that you know it, it's it's quite it's quite cool but the thing is though is that it's because like they they like the way they explain it is because like there's so there's there's so much around all this natural stuff that they're gonna like naturally they would you know the the people over there would uh would develop more natural like powers now then you go over to the to the clever kingdom and again so it's you know, there's not there's, it, again the magic. There's not a lot. Of, there's not a lot of uh, natural magic, or at least not as nearly as much as the Heart Kingdom. You know, and then you yeah, and then you know, the big thing about uh, the Clover Kingdom is that there's a bunch of city. Yeah, there's a uh, you know there's the royal capital where all like a lot where all the nobles live. You know, there's uh you know the, you know it's a it's basically a big city. And in the Forsaken Realm, uh, there isn't too much going on plant wise. I mean, you have some forests, but I mean it's mainly just a bunch of flatlands, and the, um, a lot of people are just trying to farm, trying to survive. You know, but if you go further on to the city, you know, this is when things start to get kind of weird. You know, so naturally, again, yes, yeah, you know, people are going to have the the, you know, the usual suspects of, of powers. You know, some people are going to be born with fire powers, water powers, wind powers, you know, etc., etc. But then you go into further into the city to where the city is, you have you start seeing more unnatural kind of powers. Now, because naturally, when a yeah, you know, when a gen when generations of people are around, uh, like unnatural things they're going to develop magic that's similar to man-made things like chain magic you know they you got the power to control chains you know you got powers of mirrors you know you can control mirrors hell there's a you know, there's a uh, there's a freaking magic knight captain who can freaking use paint magic yes paint magic like he literally like he, his wand is literally a paintbrush and he and he gets out a canvas and he's and he's painting a picture in the air and whatever he paints you know it comes to life and the and its power is dependent on how like creative he's feeling how much passion he puts into that art you know and it's and it's again it's another bizarre kind of art that uh, it's a bizarre kind of power that works there but again yeah it's something you wouldn't see in nature and you know he, he's developed this kind of power and it's and it's pretty cool how this magic kind of works in this matter so thinking about it okay so let's try to fast forward the clock of uh you know of, of this world of black clover you know until like you know a few centuries later you know assuming that they don't just use magic for everything like maybe uh maybe at some point it you know because again think about it in the world where you have magic and you could just use your powers to travel every anywhere you know why would you need to invent trains why would you need to invent planes or cars or, or, or computers or whatever you know like 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 the modern world uh fast forward a couple centuries later will look so much different because a lot of people would be using magic for everything but let's just assume that you know the way time progresses in that world ends up being kind of like you know this world where again you know we got we got trains planes automobiles we got freaking uh you know we got supermarkets we got highways we got freaking computers you know we got all you know again like it's just let's just pretend somehow in some way anyhow anyway you know the world kind of progresses to be kind of to look more like you know this uh the modern real world so imagine the kind of magic that's gonna like develop around a, an entire gen, like a few generations ahead in a society that's grown up around like all this technology that's grown up around the internet that's grow, grown up around uh freaking like radios video games uh automobiles machines and all that kind of stuff like i, I just imagine 
like freaking you're gonna have people they're gonna have machine magic you know they can control like uh again like they can just can they can create machines out of, out of any uh, freaking parts they find you know they can like create they can literally create transformers if they wanted to just get a car break it apart and then just kind of create a robot out of it or freaking you got radio magic you know people they, they use radio waves you know they kind of uh telecast freaking uh signals or whatever or even to just cast music on someone or freaking what about and this is the concept that i thought about you know like so i thought about if i had a magical ability and i was born in a modern era I, i'd imagine that may, may I, I would probably would want to develop like maybe a video game magic just, just, just imagine you know again so this is an era where video games have been around for quite a while now you know so and, my, and if i'm around them if i'm around them a lot my power is gonna like revolve around you know that particular aspect so like so like you know i finally get my grimoire and i'm over here the kind of spells i cast are not your typical you know burn him or drown him in water or whatever no nah, it's all about freaking i'm just summoning pac-man to freaking go uh, like to grab somebody and then i'm summoning freaking duck hunt you know to shoot them and then i'm summoning uh like i don't know banjo kazooie to freaking stomp him and then i'm summoning mario to kind of you know the freaking uh, i don't know they like toss them or something like that you know freaking i'm just imagining yeah like freaking imagine that you know video game magic and that would be some uh that would be possible because of the fact the way the magic works is that whatever somebody whatever is uh like a society is surrounded by uh, they're gonna, they're, yeah, their magic is gonna kind of adapt with them. It'll just kind of, kind of evolve the way they want to evolve. And imagine a space age version of, uh, a, yeah, imagine how the space age would look like. Freaking, you're, you're like, you're around freaking like, uh, a really advanced technology. You're advanced, yeah, uh, you're freaking, uh, you're surrounded by like freaking uh like aliens and stuff like that aliens with their own like weird abilities whether they may be magical or not or you're around freaking just all these like freaking unknowns around space black holes freaking stars planets you know freaking uh dark matter you know you got all the yeah you know, again you're like you're just surrounded by so much different different things man like it's just really it's just a really interesting uh kind of topic to just really truly think about and I can ramble on about this all day, but I don't want to ramble on for too long, man. Like, like literally, I just got done watching the show, and I actually plan on catching up with some other shows that I've been watching. Cause like literally for the past like freaking uh, like four months, it's been like the one sh one and only anime I've been watching because like it's just so damn good. I just want to keep on freaking watching it and keep on going on and on and on. Like, damn, it hooked me so good. Now I can't wait for the movie because it's going to freaking wrap up everything. And oh my god, man. It's, it's just a thrill ride. It's a thrill ride. It's a fun ride. Ah, okay. Well, that's how much. Uh, that is that's, that's, uh, about as much as I had to say. Alrighty. So, if you made it this far, thank you for listening to what I had to say. And all my mumbling glory. And all my freaking stumbling over glory. You know, freaking. Uh, anyways, you know, thank you for listening to me, listening to me nerd out about one of my favorite animes. Uh, and uh, I'll see you on the next podcast. This is your boy Asiago on 3AM Thoughts. Signing off. Have you a good one.